Hello, I'm Renu and I'm Julia and we both are software engineers at Grab and today we are going to share five tips for technical interviews. So are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. So let's get started. The very first step in any technical interview is that you will be given a problem statement. Now sometimes what happens is whenever you're given a problem statement, you immediately jump into writing the code. But we recommend you to take few minutes and ensure that you understood the problem correctly. Clear the parts which you are unclear about, try to draw the assumptions which you can. Let's say hypothetically you are given a pattern which is like 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5. Now we know that it's a Fibonacci series but you still might want to reconfirm with the interviewer and you might want to generate one or two terms manually. So after you have clarified your problems, the next step is not to jump into writing the code because now is the time for you to uh, write pseudo code. Why do you want to do that? Because by writing pseudo code, you, are, you can verify with the interviewers that you're on the right track and you can showcase your problem solving skills. For example, in the case of Fibonacci series, you might want to tell the interviewer if you are writing recursion that what's your base case and what's your recursive formula. So by doing this, uh, interviewer will tell you whether your approach is correct or not. Now it's time to write code, but just keep these few things in mind. For first, you want to write your code in a clean and readable fashion so that your interviewer can follow you. Also, the other point is you need to keep track of your time. So in the interview, uh, time is so usually constrained, so you don't want to spend too much time uh, writing very detailed implementations, but rather you want to uh, keep uh, your time to a limit. So by doing that, uh, you can make sure that you always have time to showcase your skills to the interviewer and by not running over the time limit. Whatever you are writing, whatever you are thinking, share that with the interviewer. Like that will make sure that interview understands that you're trying to solve the full problem, not just a part of it. Let's say, for example, uh, in the Fibonacci series that we are trying to solve here, uh, you determine some terminating conditions, some um, recursive conditions. So you might want to share them with the interviewer that why did you choose them? Why not other conditions? you made sure that your code is runnable. So you might want to dry run them against the input test cases and I hope it passes. And then you might want to generate few edge cases uh, which will make sure that uh, the problem solution that you have written down takes care of all the surrounding edge cases that you're trying to solve. And yes, this step will help an interview to interviewer to understand that yes, you are trying to take care of all the factors taken into account rather than just given the inputs. Now is the time to actually impress your interviewer by offering possible enhancements or extension to the solution so that you can improve either the running time of the algorithm or try to solve a more generic problem. So in this way, uh, your interviewer can be impressed by you. See your interviewers as your future colleagues. So sit back, relax and enjoy the process. Good luck and hope to see you at Grab. <laughs>